Hi, my name is Henry Sagerman. This is Fractal Graph 3. Uh, this is another fractal graph uh, constructed by the process of iterated substitution. Um, so rather than starting with a cube this time, uh, this time the object starts with just a tripod, uh, three edges coming out of a single vertex all at right angles to each other. I guess this would be the, the right orientation for it. Uh, and this is replaced by um, a subset of a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube, which looks something like this. Uh, the yellow edge is replaced by um, four edges coming out. Uh, so if you imagine there's the 3x3 three three square, and the four edges come out at the midpoints of the edges um, of the square. And again, this is a, a degree 3 graph. So all of the vertices are either these tripods or um, they're these uh, T objects. So we need a, a different thing to do if you if you see a T, what do you replace it with then? So if you see a T, then you replace it with um, this guy, which is again the same sort of thing. Um, four yellow edges replacing a single uh, yellow edge one level up. and Unlike the uh, space filling graph one, um, these replacement graphs are all connected. So the object that you get is obviously going to be connected when you're finished doing all the replacement. So this is the fourth level of recursion. Uh, one thing I particularly like about this is that the um, the fractal structure is maybe more um, obvious. So you can sort of see, you can compare the shapes of these two, and you can see there's a sort of a um, you can see the tube where the, this thing finally became this it doesn't just get lost in a mess of uh, vertices and edges so this is uh, fractal graph 3